Today's topic is on time and how we feel its existence. Time, the non-existential moment, which neither stop nor partial for anyone. Time concerns us all, human, matter, and the whole universe. All are in its grip. The measured or measurable period during any action or condition. That duration of time proves its existence. The easy identification of time to us is due to day and night. which leaves a strong observation to such time time is something which has immense power of movement but blank in frequencies the reason time is very personal individually and has uniqueness in everyone's existence with karmas the entire cosmic custodian and materialistic existence always in motion due to this motion the time leaves its feel this really does not define a person sits silently and can win time because live human body always in motion to produce frequencies even at sleeping stage also time exists as long as we are bound to this physical world it is an illusion created by our senses and perception the time is sanskrit known as kala which is always moving or gatishil it can never be controlled this choice of state makes anyone out of time and enters into timeless zone of eternity means moksha or salvation this ultimate goal of relative time to timeless ascends in three states ar akarma means no action akrama means no order and akala means no time in bhagavad gita time is identified as ishvara the state of supreme god the eternal embodiment of cosmic knowledge and bliss physical terrestrial study of time to above dimension perhaps takes us to time paradox zones This time paradox varies through its dense pressure in each universal dimension. For example, suppose a person in the deepest part of the earth ocean due to high density of pressure makes person's movement normally slow compared to outer surface. This entire paradox really impacts on person's physical body also. But this earthly oceanic paradox experience leaves very minimal impact. The reason for now nobody has touched the base of the ocean. Similarly in the black hole the pressure is highly dense which even bends the light ray inside another example the time calculation of heavenly dimension with terrestrial time in very description combining all four yogas satyuga treta yoga dwapara yoga and kali yoga makes mahayoga where one mahayoga equals to one day excluding night of brahma So conclusion says the moment of time is just an illusion for any higher conscious mind this vedic concept of soul existence making the moksha transition from kala to mahakala through deep power of meditation thank you so much